The U.S. Department of Agriculture awarded the LSU Ag Center a $17.2 million grant to work with 16 other partners in eight states on developing biofuels and biochemicals from energy cane and sweet sorghum. Vadim Kushurgan, the director of the Louisiana Institute for Biofuels and Bioprocessing, has been working on this process for several years at the LSU Ag Center's Audubon Sugar Institute. One of the um, key questions that uh, USDA uh, is trying to find the answers to is uh, how much um, a farmer, a grower, how much money they would sustainably make to produce biofuels or bio-derived chemicals. Kuchurgan says the task of the grant is enormous. Researchers working on the grant must look at the economics, capital and operating costs, and product marketing, as well as work on crop development and agricultural production. We have to address issues of harvesting, processing, storage, pretreatment, conversion technologies. LSU Ag Center personnel involved in the grant include researchers with Audubon and the Sugar Research Station, agronomist, engineers, economist, and extension specialist. Kuchurgan says the existing structure of scientists and specialists within the Ag Center was a strength in attracting the money. The formation of the Louisiana Institute for Biofuse and Bioprocessing also was a benefit. The Institute pulls together Louisiana resources of research and development in the area of biofuels and bioprocessing. Louisiana Biofuels Institute main goal is to how to strengthen the state of Louisiana and how to take the best advantage of agricultural resources in the states. The USDA grant is for five years, but Kuchurgan sees the work continuing beyond that initial phase. And then the project will have life of its own. Hopefully that will attract funding and partners to the state of Louisiana and uh, outside of the state. Louisiana's expertise in sugarcane makes it unique for biofuels development. With the LSU Ag Center, this is Toby Blanchard reporting.